Welcome back to Cat's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make a Starbucks drink recommendation. It is an iced coffee with vanilla syrup, oat milk, and vanilla sweet cream cold foam. So we're gonna go through all of the different components, how to make iced coffee at home, how to make the cold foam, etc. So the ingredients you will need for this recipe, number one being iced coffee. I always like to look at recipes starting with the base of the type of coffee that they are. Iced coffee, cold brew, espresso, those are all different types of coffee. So based on whatever the type of coffee it is that you're looking for for the drink, that's what you gotta start with. And then you can, you know, add in all the other extras, the dairy, the syrups, etc. So for iced coffee at home, you do have a few options. Number one, you can use instant coffee powder. A lot of times they'll come in a package like this and then there's instant coffee. It is different than ground coffee. So you cannot just go to the store, buy ground coffee, mix it with water and expect to have a delicious beverage. It's not gonna happen. Instant coffee is different than ground coffee. They make it differently. These instant coffee packets are meant to be dissolved in water. So it's super easy to make at home. There's all sorts of different brands. This one is by Waka. Chamberlain, I don't know if they still sell this one. I've had these for a bit. I do like the Chamberlain ones. Starbucks, of course, has all of their instant coffees. They might come in, you know, packets. They might come in a little tin that you scoop out. Same thing with, oop. <laughs> Same thing with Nescafe. This is a very popular one. You can find it in any grocery store. They're just these coffee granules that you mix with water and then they dissolve fully in your drink. So for iced coffee, you can go the instant coffee route mixed with water, which is what we're gonna do today. You also have the option of buying just like a container of iced coffee from the grocery store. Starbucks has one, I think International Delight. Various coffee brands have the bottled or like a carton of iced coffee that you can get from the grocery store. So if you want the super, <laughs> things like wobbling. If you want a super duper easy, no extra steps option, you can totally buy the bottled iced coffees. Iced coffee is different than cold brew. So here's an iced coffee option. It's gonna specify iced coffee. This would be a cold brew option, specifying that it's cold brew. Iced coffee and cold brew are made two different ways. They have different tastes, flavors, acidity levels, um, bitterness levels. If you like iced coffee, make sure you're getting an iced coffee bottled beverage versus the cold brew option. Not that one is better than the other necessarily. If you like cold brew, get cold brew. But just for the sake of this video, if you were an iced coffee drinker and you're looking for iced coffee, note they look similar, but they are different drinks and they're gonna taste different. Bottled option is the second option. The next option is to get an iced coffee maker. This one is by Go Iced. I don't even think they sell this one anymore. Um, I think they went out of business. It's just like a Mr. Coffee maker, nothing fancy. It's like a Keurig and you use ground coffee. You put your ground coffee in it, you add some water and then you brew it directly over ice to get iced coffee. So that is another option as well. And I will link my video that shows me using this machine to make iced coffee. I'll put that in the description in case you either have one of these or a similar iced coffee making option. Other iced coffee making options would include an AeroPress or a mocha pot or a French press, basically putting grounds and hot water together, smushing it down in an AeroPress or a French press, and then you can either let that cool or you can pour that directly over ice. Totally up to you. There are various ways to make iced coffee at home. Easiest way would be grabbing the bottles. Second easiest would be using instant coffee granules or instant coffee powder and adding that to water like we're gonna do today. Or you can make brewed coffee however you like, Keurig, Milk Pot, AeroPress, Pour Over, French Press, all of those brewed coffee or filter coffee options and either cooling them for a length of time overnight in the fridge or brewing them and then pouring over ice. If you are gonna pour over ice, I very much recommend making coffee ice cubes. So maybe you use a French press, you know, on your day-to-day -day basis and you make your brewed coffee that way. I would just pour that coffee into ice cube molds and put that in the freezer and then just use those coffee ice cubes when you are brewing your hot coffee over it so then it doesn't get too diluted. There's different options. You do what works for you. Next up, we need oat milk. The request is for oat milk. So I'm using the Chobani Extra Creamy Oat Milk. This one's my fave. I also really like the Oatly Barista Edition Oat Milk. Then we need vanilla syrup. This is by Torani. I love the Torani syrups, but you can totally get whatever brand syrup you like. You can buy this at the grocery store, Torani website, lots and lots of different places sell coffee syrups. And then for the vanilla sweet cream cold foam that we're gonna make, you need three ingredients, vanilla syrup again, you need 2% milk and heavy whipping cream. These three ingredients are gonna give you identical Starbucks cold foam at home. And I'll show you exactly how to do that today. So let's start the recipe beginning with our iced coffee. Today I am gonna use the Chamberlain Wildcat Instant Coffee. I'll double check the website 
website. And if it is in stock, I will link it. If it's not, then I will link similar ones. I usually like a medium roast, but you can totally use a lighter roast or a darker roast. It's totally up to you. Just add that right into your cup. I'm only gonna do one packet. If you like a stronger coffee flavor, feel free to do two. And then I'm gonna do about 12-ish ounces of water. I'm gonna add ice, I'm gonna add oat milk, and I'm gonna add vanilla sweet cream cold foam. So I don't need too much liquid in this glass. This is good enough for me. And then I'm just blending this with a milk frother to make sure that all of the powder is fully dissolved. I don't wanna do too much mixing because I don't want it too frothy and foamy. Just enough to mix that together. This color looks pretty good to me. It's not too see-through and diluted, but it's also not too dark and scary. <laughs> iced coffee. If you're using the bottled iced coffee, pour your bottled iced coffee into your cup and then move on with the recipe. Next is vanilla syrup. I'm just gonna do a little splash. If you have the pumps on here, do one pump, two pumps, six pumps, however many pumps of syrup you personally like. At Starbucks for a 24 ounce iced coffee, they usually do six pumps of syrup. Just keep that in mind. That's about three tablespoons of syrup. So you can do three tablespoons out, measure that. For me, that would be too much syrup for this amount of iced coffee. You can do less, you can do more, whatever you feel like. This is about half a tablespoon to a tablespoon of syrup. That's perfect for me because then we're gonna be adding, you know, the cold foam on top. Next, adding in some oat milk. And this is where I'm gonna add until I get my desired color for the iced coffee. <gasps> oh no, <gasps> I've never had this happen before. This just ripped in half. How am I gonna get this out? Oh no, <laughs> am I gonna have to open this up like an actual milk carton? You're joking. That's the worst case scenario. I don't even know what to do. I'm so mad. Oh my word, this is the oat milk from... Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. I can't get it. Has this ever happened to anybody else? Oh my word, I'm at a loss. What do I do? You're joking. This is embarrassing. Holy buck. <laughs> milk. I can't even look at it. Um, as much or as little as your heart desires. I always recommend adding less to start and then add more as, as you go. It's always worse to add way too much initially. This is a good iced coffee color for me. So I'm gonna stop there. Next is adding in some ice and then leave room at the top of your cup so we can add in the cold foam. I buy a bag of pebble ice from Sonic just cause I love it and it's cheap. They also sell it at Chick-fil-A. This is an iced coffee with vanilla syrup and oat milk. Set that aside so we can make the vanilla sweet cream cold foam. For the cold foam, again, you need vanilla syrup, 2% milk and heavy whipping cream. I like to do a one to three ratio. So one tablespoon of vanilla syrup, two tablespoons of 2% milk, and then three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. If you were dairy free, use oat milk instead. So this uh, Chobani extra creamy oat milk, use this. One tablespoon of the vanilla syrup, three to four tablespoons of the oat milk. Froth that up with the milk frother. This is my ride or die. I already used it today to mix up the coffee. You can use it to make cold foam at home like we're gonna do. Basically mixes anything, froths anything. It is elite and you need it. You just put the egg in the mixture and push this little button here. Then froth. And I don't do anything fancy. Maybe some small rotations, you know, in the cold foam. I just let the milk frother do its thing. I don't know what the heck they're doing over there in Bodson Kitchen, um, but they're my favorite for this milk frother. And it's like seven bucks, eight bucks on Amazon. One minute later, she's thick and beautiful. If you want it even thicker, froth for longer or add more heavy whipping cream. This is a beautiful texture, you're gonna see. Look at the beautiful cold foam texture. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Um, Stunning, beautiful. You can see the cold foam is like dripping through a little tiny bit. If you don't like that, froth for longer or add more heavy whipping cream. That's all you gotta do. All you gotta do is dance and hold your hands. Taste test. Mm-hmm. Vanilla, sweet cream, cold foam. Oh gosh, tastes like ice cream. Do you want a straw though so I can get some of the iced coffee? Ah, oh my goodness, so good. <laughs> this is delightful, actually delightful. Mm -hmm. 
very, 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 very good. It's like too good. I don't drink iced coffee that often because I do prefer cold brew or espresso to iced coffee. But when I try it, I'm always like, I need to make it more. This iced coffee is delightful. I love the combo with the oat milk and the vanilla sweet cream on top. Super yum. Honestly, really easy to make at home. Again, you can take out the extra step of making your own iced coffee and just use the bottled coffee. You can make a bigger batch of iced coffee at the start of the week and use that throughout the week if you want. I hope this video was helpful in showing you how to make your favorite iced coffee at home. I do wanna note with the cold foam, you can make any Starbucks cold foam at home by just switching up the syrups. So if you want the salted caramel cold foam, do exactly what we did, but instead of the vanilla syrup, use salted caramel syrup or caramel syrup with a pinch of salt. One tablespoon syrup, two tablespoons milk, three tablespoons heavy whipping cream, froth that together, salted cream cold foam. For the chocolate cream cold foam, instead of using a syrup, I like to use a chocolate malt powder. Same thing, one tablespoon of chocolate malt powder, you can find that at the grocery store. Two tablespoons milk, three tablespoons heavy whipping cream, froth that together. You you have chocolate cream cold foam. Pistachio cream cold foam, use pistachio syrup. Strawberry, use strawberry. You get the point. Just switch up the syrup flavor or sauce flavor and you can make whatever flavor cold foam you want at home. This is delicious. Thank you so much for the drink recommendation. Save your money. Especially with recipes like this, you can totally, totally, totally make your drinks at home just as delicious, if not better. And you have control over the ingredients that go in it. So if you wanna use sugar-free syrups, you can use sugar-free vanilla. If you want to make it lower calorie, use a dairy-free half and half or almond milk instead of heavy cream. And then you control the amounts too. I feel like every time I go to Starbucks and order an iced coffee, it looks different. By making your own drinks at home, you're guaranteed to get exactly what you want every single day. That's why I love making coffee at home and I encourage you to make your own coffee at home so you can save your money, get perfect, delicious, enjoyable coffee every single morning without any disappointment. If you do have a Starbucks drink that you are addicted to and you you want to learn how to make it at home drop it in the comments below and i will recreate that drink order for you thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel if you aren't already and have a beautiful day Mwah. got a blast